the most important thing is that they know their statutory rights, which is that they are entitled, um, that goods are as described, that they are fit for the purpose in which they're sold, and that they're free from any defects. If those three criteria aren't met, they're entitled to a refund. Apart from that, the, the traders in Gibraltar may have their own refund policy, and it's important that consumers are aware that uh, of the terms and conditions of that policy, and they may, must also be aware that uh, traders are not obliged to offer them any other refund policy. So they should just be savvy as to what exactly um, they may or may not be entitled to. Um, not all traders are obliged to return and uh, to give you a refund for an item just because you don't like it, but they will, however, if there is a defect with it. So, so that's uh, something that they that they should bear in mind. Of course, nowadays we have the added element of online shopping, which can potentially be more confusing. Um, consumers should should generally be aware that they may have other rights when they shop online. Um, they should always be aware of what the terms and conditions are and they should be aware of the delivery times. In the absence of any specific delivery time mentioned uh, when they're doing the contract, they have 30 days to receive it and if they don't receive it within that time, they need to um, contact the, uh, the trader from which they purchased online. It's not a case of contacting the courier, for example. They have to go direct to where they bought it. Also, they should bear in mind that they have the right to um, review the item that they've bought for two weeks, and if they're not happy with it, they also have the right to return that. Obviously, this is, obvi uh, this is assuming that they bought it from an EU uh, trader online. You mentioned your rights if something doesn't arrive on time, but what if it has been sent on time and it's simply stuck in delays at the post office or courier, which we know can happen at this time of year? What we would suggest is to make sure that you del uh, you asked for the goods, for them to be delivered with plenty of time, for instance, if it's for Christmas, so that there's enough leeway that you will be able to receive your goods uh, for that special day. Um, but if there are delays, you, are, as a consumer, are obliged to contact whoever is sending you those goods, whoever the trader is because the trader has made arrangements with the courier company or with the post office and they have a direct contract with them and you need to contact the trader so that they then chase the post office or the courier to make sure that that has arrived. How savvy do you find people are about their rights? I think generally people are quite savvy, although it's sometimes confusing because obviously we're exposed to a lot of adverts from w which are meant for either the UK market or the Spanish market. In particular ones that are meant for the UK market, uh, our consumer rights aren't exactly the same. So it's important that they realize that there are subtle differences. One of the, uh, one of the complaints we often receive at the office has to do, for instance, with um, guarantees and warranties. We would suggest that consumers specifically ask about what guarantees, if any, um, are in place for certain goods and that they know how and when they can get a refund or, or get uh, redress if something uh, is wrong with any of the goods that they have. They should definitely ask. You've mentioned Black Friday, a term that comes from America. How big an event is this becoming in Gibraltar? It's getting bigger and bigger year on year. Uh, as you said, it's, it's massive in the, in the US. It's getting very big now in the UK. And obviously, it trickles down to Gibraltar. Um, it's, it's big. It encourages people to go out and spend, which is great, um, for, for obviously, for the, for, the, for the traders in Gibraltar. And we always want to encourage local business. Um, but nevertheless, people should be wary about what it actually means. They should, be, they, should make, they should shop around. They should ensure that whatever deals are being offered of uh, Black Friday are not deals which aren't ordinarily offered over the course of the year anyway, and they should just shop around for the, for the best deal. But yes, it is becoming bigger, and uh, people are obviously latching on because um, you can hear a lot of uh, talk about it on social media, etc.